Doctor Community Show, take one. <laughs> there we go. First take, first try. So, first hello, dozen. I am Jalak Pleaves. God damn it! Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello, Daniel. Hello, Jack. Uh, long time viewer, first time guests. <laughs> we're, we're really nailing it. We're too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, Daniel. Uh, you are now the third uh, Dynamic Works doctor that I've managed to get on. So I'm, I've, I'm closing in on the whole set. Yes. Just Connor next. He's Connor next. Connor. He's next. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> right well <laughs> let's <laughs> just before we get started uh when i joined i forgot about this whiteboard behind me because i was filming an announcement for something like a big thing that's about to happen and i nearly just had that on full display just in the background so you can't, you can't do that you can't tell me there's something big happening and not tell me what it is I, I, you can't do this to me, man. All right, tell you what, I'm going to cut this out of the show and really okay, annoy okay, people. Okay. Mainly, yeah. although then again, the announcement might be out by the time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm in my pajamas. Don't question me. No. It's fine. I'm in shorts, so it's all good. Do you know what this logo is? I am very aware what that logo is. Yes. Um, I will be hosting Doctor Who the Community Show live at Comic Con. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, I know. I can't. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. That is, that is insane. Yeah. I wish I'm one of very few people that know. So, oh, yes. I'm honored. I'm honored to know. I'm honored to be on the show. I'm, oh, it's a big day. Uh, big day. Big, big day. I wish I, I could be there, but the, the, the Irish Sea parks us, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately. So, well, we'll just have to be, build a very big and impractical bridge just to get you over here. There's no way you could fly. It has to be a bridge. It has to be a bridge. I demand a bridge, bridge be, be built so I could attend. <laughs> <laughs> Ascend to the world of Comic-Con. And, I, and I'm the only one who's allowed to use a bridge. That, 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 that's, that's a must. I'm the only person who yeah, can use yeah, it. We'll, we'll write that in the visa. It's fine. <laughs> Visas? <laughs> anyway. Right. Before I go on in a million tangents, which just kind of happens, let's get on <laughs> to the first question. And really, it should be obvious. It's why we're talking. You have a brand new trailer out for Dimensions of the Daleks. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, um, Dimension of Daleks is about uh, a dimension where there's Daleks. We're getting some, we're getting some insight here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the actual, the, the actual like synopsis about the, the episode is that the, the Doctor Maggie decide to travel into the multiverse mm -hmm. uh, because we teased it in the very first episode and ever since then people are like, oh, when are you going to actually do the multiverse? You said there, that's like, like Chekhov's gun, where are you going to fire it? And I'm like, okay, do it for the, the first episode of my new series. So, but obviously they don't go to a very good dimension. <laughs> the end, they go it to doesn't one seem like a good one, no. Uh, well, Chekhov's um, gun should have fired in a different direction by the sound yeah, of it. Yeah, it <laughs> like, I'm like, the, the audience asked for this. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Now um, I just imagine all your comments just reading, take the shot, take the shot. <laughs> yep, yep, it does, yeah. <laughs> um, but in this dimension, the Daleks uh, have taken over completely. They've taken over time and space in this dimension. And now with the Doctor and Maggie there, they, they also then bump into Maggie's brother in this dimension, who's alive, which he wasn't in their dimension. And now uh, she's sort of de dealing with a lot of different things like the Daleks were the responsible were the reason why her brother died in her dimension and now she's facing Daleks she just needs to face her brother again mm. it's a lot of things going on for the companion and not so much me to be honest <laughs> well, so much is that a conscious choice to focus more on the companions than the doctor himself I was writing it and I, was, I was trying like I should really try and fit in some some doctor scenes here, but I'm just enjoying writing for the characters so much. I'm like, mm. I, I, I do write bits in. There are a couple of noteworthy scenes I have of my doctor for them too spoilery to, to talk about. Of but Silence. yeah, oh, this, is, this is Luke, Meg, and Dom all over again. Whenever I'd ask Meg a question, it's always like, "Oh, that's a series five thing. Can't tell you." And I'm like, "Oh, well, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
we're very secretive it's secretive but dynamic works and fractal timeline it's just it's all very hush hush we like we like to keep secrets here of course well that that as a as the guy interviewing you i can i appreciate that thank you You're very welcome. <laughs> then again i immediately opened this call with a big spoiler so really i can't talk at all i can't keep a secret <laughs> you're, you're like well, I, 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 I wish I could tell. I wish I could, but at the same time, it's like, then the whole thing gets like... Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so um, you heard it here first. Uh, the Doctor dies in this fan film, and that's it, the end. <laughs> I can confirm. <laughs> right, so uh, on the same lines, um, how does it feel to be currently the only Irish Doctor? Currently... It's it bound to happen one day. <laughs> it's bound to happen one day. Hopefully one day. Hopefully. You carry the legacy. R- RTD, if you are listening to this, come on. Let's, <laughs> let's, get, let's get some Irish representation in the show. That, 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 that Irish broad church in the Timeless Children does not count. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten about him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> No, it doesn't count. No, no. What am I talking about? Of course, that doesn't count. No, no it doesn't count. That, that was all hallucinations. So there's, there's been no Irish in Doctor Who because that was all a fake thing to hide the truth. But um, it feels good. I we're we're currently trying to add more culture of uh, some Irish culture into our series into our show because we didn't really do much of that in our first series. <laughs> so we're trying our best now to sort of pump a bit more Irish into Doctor Who. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not so much that it forgets its roots, but at the same time, just so it's representing like who we are and what we are making it. No, yeah, that does make sense. I suppose the Irish Doctor tagline that, or, or the nickname you have is was always just kind of, oh, he has the accent. <laughs> that was about yeah. it. So, yeah, <laughs> but it does make sense to add more heritage, I, I guess is the word. Heritage, culture. Um, yeah, cult- yeah. Oh, that's a better word. I conked my microphone. <laughs> I'm sure that's good for the audio. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just, we, everyone started calling me an Irish doctor purely because, well, my voice. <laughs> oh, did that not, did the nickname not come from you? It just came from people no, just being no. like, oh, you're Irish. Everyone just, just like, I think, I don't even remember where it started. Like everyone's done started calling Luke the little red one. And they start calling another one the the blonde, and then like, oh, you're gonna call me? Where you gonna be? Gonna call me the the trilby? The, the it's like you're Irish, aren't you? He's like, is that, is that what seriously I'm looking for? Being Irish. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Great. <laughs> well, it, how about this? If you were to give yourself a nickname, what would it be? See, I've sort of, I sort of like Irish too much now to give it up. I don't know what I don't know what else I would call myself. The best doctor, just really annoy the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> there the we best. go. Give yourself or a complex. <laughs> or, I'll, or, or I'll top every single other doctor by having myself the doctor, the the doctor. Oh, that would be brilliant. <laughs> just like, oh yes, I'm the purple doctor. Who are you? I'm the the doctor. Yeah, you, the, yeah. The doctor. Stand back. I, I, I am. I'm the I'm the one that has to have the double the because I am the doctor. Oh yes. <laughs> So, uh, moving on from that, I'll be honest, whenever I get a guest on, I always instinctively go to their channel, go to their page, click oldest to newest and see what's there. And I was very disappointed to find that it, for, for Fractured Timeline at least, it only goes back to 2018. Where's the cringe, Daniel? I live off the cringe. Um, I, I, I purged the, the cringe, I purged the cringe I, where I made the first episode because I, I knew it was going to get some news and I didn't want people to discover the cringe. <laughs> no, for um, someone like me, I was so looking it, forward to being I, like, look I, at this I will, video. I will say, if you dig, if you dig for it, you'll find it. It's not privated, it's unlisted. So it's somewhere out there. There should be, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you scar through the internet somewhere you'll find it i'm not going to start giving you hints but why why would i well that's the thing Uh, a little insight into this interview um we arranged to do this interview yesterday (laughs) it took us one day we were like let's just do it now we're like yeah all right because that's how i work i'm not professional in any way look 
this is this is how professional I am. Doing your hair, you couldn't do that beforehand. I did, but I just messed it up because I'm looking at myself in the camera and <laughs> it's mirrored. So I went to do it the right way as the uh -huh. mirror. So I'm really messy. This is what I do. I want to be as professional as possible, but I know deep down, no, it's not happening. Even if I could try. <laughs> well, I, I, well, do you know, another day we're all fans making fan content. It's always us. We're always one man bands, right? I mean, mm. I mean, even Lucas, like the amount of stuff Luke's doing for Series Five is that. Uh, that boy is a credit to his work. To his work. Oh, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. I mean, I've been, I can say this now, as, uh, as I was briefly in the first Series 5 trailer, that, yeah, the, pure professionalism as soon as that amazing camera comes out. Oh, have you seen that new camera that he's got? Go on. Hey, I, I have the exact same camera. Oh, dear. <laughs> that would explain how, <laughs> why, good, why the footage looks so good in the trailer. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's a yeah, I'm using it to record right now. Hello. <laughs> oh, is that what you're using? Oh, so you're going to have a really good 4K I'll, I'll show, footage. I'll, I'll no, it's, it's not going to be 4K because me trying to transfer 4K footage would be a nightmare, especially for school and reef. There it is. Oh, there it is. Get Everybody gawk at that. Oh, and you've got the little screen as well. Oh, the cheeky you. <laughs> there I am. There I am. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I suppose I'll turn it around. Here's my little DSLR. Here it oh, is. What, what, what cannon is that? Uh, I don't know. It's that one. Can you see that? I have, I have the exact same camera. I'm so oh, really? I also have the 700D. I still use it for photography. Boom. Yeah, it's definitely Boom. more of a photography camera, but I only understood that after I received it. So... Oh, no, but it's like... <laughs> I do have another channel. It's like it's my main Down with Japan channel. I filmed a lot of short films on. I'm still very proud of how they look today. Every camera's a good camera. Yeah, I had a look. I had a look on that channel as well. There was still not a lot of cringe. I was very mad. <laughs> I was like, I was getting ready to embarrass, like I did when I mentioned Luke's old stop motions. I was like, ah, ah, ah. there was nothing. There was nothing. Good luck. <laughs> Although I will mention, I did used to do figure adventures like like Luke, but yes, I will track those down. I will do that. I will track. It was our practice. You'll never find those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one day, pattern. Right. So, moving aside from the fan films, which you are probably safe to say most known for, you are also a graphic designer and a VFX artist. In fact, that's how I first came across you because you did the art for Venus Flint episode one, which I was yes. featured in. Yes. So, what would you say from those two camps? What are something you are the most proud of? So, like art wise and VFX wise, which one has caused me the least amount of sleep? <laughs> the that best. is the question. <laughs> um, I'm very proud of both. Um, I used to be mainly VFX, but now I've really grown into graphic design and digital and doing digital artwork. Um, there's a lot I've done recently, especially for, for like the Overton Audio stuff. I'm very proud of. I wish I can show off, but that that'll come soon. But I've I don't know. It's very difficult one. You see, the thing is, with, with graphic design, it's just like, it's just simple, drag and do this. And it's like, you gotta make one frame look good. With VFX, a lot more frames. A, a few, yes. <laughs> a few, yes. Uh, 24 to 25 of the, those, uh, those frames per second. <laughs> oh, it's too many. It's too many. Can I do so love VFX, but I think I've sort of grown more as a graphic designer as time went on, especially over lockdown when audio became such a thing and people are seeking a lot of graphic design. Oh, yes. Well, over the last like time. I know, I, I appeared in one and I'll show a little image of that, I'm sure, as we as we met a talk here. Are there any other, well, is there any specific VFX shot you've done in the past where you're like, oh, I smashed it? Ooh, I'm trying to think now because there's a lot of shots. I did, five, I did four series of DW 2012, so <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> A lot of rummaging to do. Well, technically, two because Luke got rid of the first two. Naughty Luke. Terrible. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to have to do a tally every time his name gets mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I would say I really don't know. I, 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 there had to be something from probably the film, the DW20. Show film. Any VFX shots there are in the DW2012 film? 
Yeah. Do you, you want to know how many? Oh, there hard. are there are about between two hundred to three hundred VFX shots. That's a good couple, then. Good a couple. I had uh, all of in a summer. <laughs> Oh God, you poor man! <laughs> I know. I know. It was like it was between a, two years of uni, and I had to do that. I'd say I'd say the film because just because the time, the the, the t- deadline was very very strict, and I, I got the most done. Uh, quantity wise, I'm very proud of that. Mm-hmm. Quality wise, I'd say I'm very proud of most things from series four. I, yeah. I have I have no specific shots in mind. It's just it's, it's too much to dig up. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. I mean, th- that they are known. Th- the whole DW twenty twelve franchise is known for looking absolutely incredible, and no small part thanks to your amazing VFX work, and no doubt. Thank you very much. Just to feed your ego. That that's what I'm here for. I'm here to build you up and then smash you back down at a later date. That's that's the uh, community show guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you couldn't find the cringe. I couldn't. I'm still mad. Anyway, well. Monday, Monday, right. Monday, uh, Monday. <laughs> so, um, my final question before I, a, a cheeky little quiz at the end, uh, just to really, really bug you in some way. Although I bet you're going to know the answers anyway. Right. So, uh, how did you become part of the timeline anyway? Like, how did that start? Oh, that's a that's a long story and a half. Oh, it was a. Foggy Tuesday night in uh, July, and I simply opened up my laptop and I asked Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready to settle in. I was ready. I got a nice warm cup of tea, just ready for a nice story. Just asked him. Is it really that easy? I mean, it was. He was making the 50th anniversary special. He was saying, "Oh, I got all these doctors in," and I was like, "Could you? Could you fit me in?" And he was like, yeah, "Sure." <laughs> Why not? And I was like, it was, I'm pretty sure he rewritten the thing. And I was like, I was just like being that pesky friend. It's like, come on, fit me in, fit me in as well, fit me in. Come on, please. Did you know him before though? Did, did you already have a, yeah. a friendship? Yes, we had a friendship. Um, we we sort of just started t- talking about we we were commenting on each other's videos when we we were doing like the fi- the action figure Avengers stuff. Again, good luck trying to find. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> uh, but we counted on that. We were collaborating on that. Sometimes like we were doing voices for each other's stuff. And then he told me he was doing a live action series. And I said, would you need help with VFX and all that? And oh, that sent me down a dark, <laughs> dark path. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't know what you signed up for. I did not know what I'm signing up for. <laughs> five series onwards and two remaster seasons i'm pretty sure he's thinking of re- redoing series three and four i don't i don't oh, know if dude, he's doing it that's please. not competition but i can but knowing that knowing knowing luke those cards are possibly on the table <laughs> he's a he's a he's a silly boy that luke he, he doesn't understand what he's doing silly luke not him not a silly. <laughs> right so Here's a quiz, and I did this. this I did the same with uh, your fellow doctors, and I'll be honest, they 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 smashed it. So we'll see how this goes. I have in this phone an image that shows the timeline of doctors from DW twenty twelve, including the era gaps. The so, era. Just the era gap. I don't know why I had to do the quotations. They're pretty self-explanatory. So <laughs> from start to finish. I'd like you to name all the doctors in order, including the era gaps. Is that something you are willing to do? Yes. And also, Jack, just to let you know, I created an image. <laughs> Why did I think you're the big graphic designer? Of course you did. To be fair, I made it two years ago, so I might have forgotten. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm so clever. I think I'm. So, this is what happens when I plan an interview a day after. God. All right. Let's do it. Go on. Let's uh, smash uh, it. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Um. God, I'm, my mind's drawing a blank already. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> um. We have the young doctor. Ooh. No. Oh no. Sorry. We have. Northern Doctor, the Young Doctor, the Era Gap, the, the Blonde Doctor, the Little Red Doctor, uh, the Purple Doctor, Era Gap, the Lost Doctor, the Irish Doctor, Era Gap, 
and the gravat doctor drops the mic. The mic can indeed be dropped. So you absolutely smashed it. Well done, Daniel J. Patton, who made the image I'm literally using for reference. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You, you can say it's sake. <laughs> oh well, I, I I'm not surprised. Why why did I think that was going to be a hard quick the, god damn it? Right. <laughs> well, oh yeah, this interview has gone relatively quick, so I'm gonna add just a little question on the top. Just a little spice. Just a little, oh, yeah. little bit of spice to it. Just off the head, off the top of the head. Okay. This is me after a, a full day of work at eight o'clock in the evening. Trying to figure this out, just for again for reference, for reference. Thought, ah, my other microphone. This is what happens when I do that. Anyway, <laughs> so this is more of a more of a normie Doctor Who question, not one I'd usually ask. But obviously, you mentioned the RTD news. What are your general thoughts on that? Oh man, I, I think it's Conrad Shadwick was the one who mentioned it to me. Mm. Uh, he, he, he all right. Thing is that we usually play jokes on each other. I thought, okay, what's this? What sort of prank are you doing here? What, 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 what mockery is this? You know how I feel about this. Do, don't play jokes on me, Connor. I know what you're mm -hmm. like. I'm like, it's not a joke. It's like, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on the Twitter. I'm gonna go on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna Google Doctor Who. And I'm gonna say, oh my sweet blessed Jesus. <laughs> 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 and. That was and I nearly cried. I nearly cried. Oh, I called boy. Anya. I called Anya excitement. And I couldn't even speak. I was like, the poor girl thought I was having a poor girl thought I was having a panic attack. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, that's see, that's slightly similar to to my reaction. Funnily enough, so I was just got home from work. I checked my phone and I see the official tweet. I thought it was a prank as well. After a while, I started to realise, oh, no, this is real. So I, I, I looked over at my girlfriend who was just over there and I went, oh, uh, look, Russell T. Davis is coming back. And she went, who? And at that point, I decided we were going to get a divorce immediately. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, no girlfriend of mine is not knowing who RTD is. Tut, tut. Oh, just putting Gemma on blast there. <laughs> she'll, she'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but she was very excited uh, thankfully Anya my blessed uh, better half does mm. you know of RTD and she is very RTD. what happened my voice just there oh, like, no. <laughs> so you just uh, gone through puberty uh, live on live on screen oh no just, I'm here <laughs> I'll have to redouble the entirety of the uh, dimension of dogs because of this knife <laughs> <laughs> with your new manly man voice yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very excited about RTD coming back. It's uh, news that really made me excited. I, I like. I wasn't. Think, uh, I wasn't against this current era of Doctor Who. Um, like I'm not a fan of the the, the current era, but at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong of it. To be honest, I love Jodie. I think she's amazing. Like, do you know, see what she said recently? Like, like, have you seen the BBC news where she presented? She was talking to the new presenter of CBBS. Oh, yes, I did see that. Yeah, that was adorable. She's a treasure. She really is. Yeah, some of the fan engagement this era has brought out has been top-notch. Although, I do wish there was more. There should be more stuff like that. They had a perfect opportunity with lockdown to get a bunch of those videos out. Yeah, there was one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to say the least. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see series 14 as well. Whenever that comes around, God yeah. knows. Yeah, probably whenever. This, probably this month. Probably or really probably. <laughs> People are saying October. People are saying October, but at the same time, just like there's nothing on it. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to two white men talk about uh, Jodie Whittaker's era. I see this going very well as uh, everything online is always peachy clean. Very honest. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's just say it. There is an amazing doctor. <laughs> but really, we have here the only true doctor, as previously discussed, General J. Patton. He is the the doctor. <laughs> the the doctor. That's what, that, that's what I shall call now. I shall change the timeline once this interview is over, <laughs> and you'll see I'm now the the doctor. <laughs>
<laughs> I guarantee you some like 12 year old starting fan films is going to hear that and go, that's actually a really good idea. I'm going to chop that down. <laughs> In all fairness, I did, I did an April Fool's prank that heavily backfired on me. Please tell. I mentioned, I did a thing on Twitter saying that I am changing my name from the Irish Doctor because somebody said, oh, isn't that like culturally insensitive because uh because it, because you're saying like, oh, you're the, you're, you're the Irish Doctor. And I was like, but I am Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I took that joke, I took that that one comment, and I spun it into a joke that heavily backfired on me. I then start. I said to everyone, "I am no longer be called the Irish Doctor. I shall be called the Green Trilby Doctor." <laughs> and everyone, no one, no one decided to look on the dates when I made that announcement. Oh no! And I even had people from DW Twenty Twelve asking, "Wait, are you serious?" <laughs> and then they began to retitle. All of the stuff in the oh, Irish oh. doctor to the, <laughs> oh, no. the YouTube video. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I put the green Shelby doctor purely because it was the oh. worst signing name I could possibly pick. That's so funny. <laughs> you, want, you want to finish back? There's the cringe. <laughs> Yay! I found it. That was my character arc for this interview. I did it. Oh. Did it. Well, I think I think we can wrap it up there. Uh, thank you so much for coming on such short notice. <laughs> uh, thank you thank for your support Bobby. of the show. As as you said, you're a viewer. I'll just blindly believe you. <laughs> I, I am a viewer. I am. Um, uh, I, I I remember in one episode. I think I can't remember. It was like the it was one where you had Luke, Dom, and Meg on the show, and they were discussing who's the owner owns the TARDIS. And I'm like. Technically, I'm the first one along, along who has that TARDIS, so we'll we'll leave we'll leave that we'll leave that conversation there then. <laughs> also, I really I'm not going to put this in the episode. I'll probably get in trouble, but I thought you said Luke dommed Meg, and I was thought we were about to have a very different conversation. <laughs> oh no, def- definitely not, definitely not. No, <laughs> but that's but, just uh, how we, my we, mind. We keep works. it peachy clean. We keep it peachy clean. Peachy here. clean. Peachy clean. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Well, yes. Thank you for coming on. It's been a pleasure, and hopefully yeah. my footage was usable because I noticed I kept doing this, and that puts me out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Technical. You're all good, man. It was an absolute pleasure being on the show. Uh, I generally great work with the show, man. Been loving it so far. I've been killing it. Can't wait to see what else you do, and I can't wait for the announcement. Oh yes, I've filmed the announcement video. I've just went, I emailed the person who's, okay, I'm going to be vague here just so I can include it. I emailed the person that I am uh, going back and forth with to make it happen. And they were being very helpful, a lot of questions being answered. But the one I put out saying, oh, when can I release this? Nothing yet. They haven't told me. So I'm like, I just have to wait, I guess. (laughs) Anyway, it's very exciting. Very exciting. It is. It is. Very tough for you, man. Anyways, it is, it is getting late. I will let you be free to your world. And uh, I'm sure the robot lady was going to tell us that the recording has...